Good morning, folks. Happy Friday. I am on cloud nine right now. I actually had a really tough week, which I'll talk about in a second, but I just had a call with a guy. Uh, we're going to do a collaboration on a kid's truck toy, and I don't want to I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves because it's very early, but this is the idea here is going to be paper sketch to like maybe even manufacturing. So covering all the processes, sharing what we learned, the struggles. This guy's an industrial designer, awesome guy. Um, I, I, I'm really, really excited for where this is going to go. Um, he posted this image on Facebook. I follow him, and I was like, we need to make that. And he was like, well, let's make it. And I was like, oh my God, William would love to play with that and then so it's like well let's do it let's share it this is what it's all about um, so just really excited wanted to share that uh, I'll give you guys a little teaser this is part of the upcoming Arduino project this is the non Arduino part of it but um, really I'm actually planning to nail down some of the code today so it is coming but take a look anybody have any guesses what it's gonna be I'm kind of curious um, I am also starting another Arduino project that is, I'm gonna call it a DIY live tooling leg. And it's gonna be for our clamp project. We need to make a ton of these pins and these pins have two areas grooved, parted off and then a cross hole tapped and drilled. And I'm like, why, why not just make a machine to do this? The rigidity, is it crazy? The, the requirements aren't, Crazy. I know a way I can drill and tap pretty elegantly, so that side's fine. So I also think I'm going to need your help because I'm not the best. I, the product is better when I collaborate. So I'm going to work up um, some more paper sketches and then some fusion and share it with you guys and get your help. But this, maybe we fail, but it's going to be Arduino automation, motion, turning, machining, this is why I got into all of this. And uh, I, I have spent the last year or two have, moving back to Ohio, kind of gearing up for this, getting the, the, the business in order, the shop in order, the equipment. Um, and you know, I never wanted to run a job shop. I wanted to have these skill sets to do this stuff. And if I can, if I can pull all that off, that's what I want to do. Um, I've always felt like this YouTube channel and, and sharing this enthusiasm and, and what we do is our little chance to change the world. Uh, I'm not sitting here trying to um, blow a bunch of smoke up you guys as my viewers, but just thinking that good stuff's coming, maybe. Um, it really is. And what else I want to mention? Truck collaboration. Oh, another thing. We need to engrave our clamps. I've got an idea to automate that on the 440, to build a feed stack with 300 parts and have them automatically fed into the mill, engraved, and then dumped out. And I don't even, like, that's the thing. You could make this thing complex, but anybody can make something complex. The, the, the beauty is going to be doing it simply. And that's a good easy project because the engraving, there's not a lot of radial load and you don't have to have you know, bonkers precision. So that's going to be, I'm, I'm so excited. Um, we ha On the note of getting organized, oops, I changed my camera here. Oh shoot. There we go. Um, I just bought this thing on Amazon. It's like cheap and it's a restaurant ticket thing because I need a way to put up projects. I have one of these for jobs. I'm gonna have one of these for, this paper is not the best maybe. I need something stiffer. Um, and I want stuff for filming projects that I can pull off, take notes on, stick it back up. So I really like that. Um, link in the description if you wanna pick one of those up. I'm also looking at uh, Trello, although in fairness we had a bunch of software recommended but for more of the actual um yeah take a look at all of the software that list that folks sent in so thank you for that um trello was by far the most recommended so for like the real ticketing job shop process organizing um lastly i wanted to share oh this was the fixture that we used to make that encoder wheel thing and it worked out great the second one we've made the tape link in the description it's 3m9 i think it's 9597 it didn't work for us at first um what you have to do is really press the part onto the tape i think it's pressure sensitive so we actually put the part on here put a steel block over it and put it in our uh, hydraulic press and just pushed it down 
I'm sure a bench vise would work as well, but more than your typical hand pressure. When you're done, any of the com any of the following or a combination, you know, heat, acetone, WD-40, and either a knife, a razor blade, or someone had mentioned, um, actually, someone had mentioned, and then Tom Met Lipton mentioned it as well, um, dental floss or uh, some sort of a string to pull it through there and get the part off. Um, we definitely used heat, we used heat, um, some acetone, I think, and a little razor blade and got, the, it's 12 gauge, sorry, 12 thou steel, and got it off without flexing it, so that was a win. Forgot to mention. I wanna give a shout out and a big thank you to American Rotary. Um, it, it, I think it's obvious that we have sponsors that help us dedicate the time that we spend on making this channel work for us. You know, without Tormach, uh, Lakeshore Carbide, Autodesk, we couldn't spend the time we do making these videos. And American Rotary stepped up at the table and they said, we love what you're doing. We want to be a part of it. And you know, here's the thing. We, we have three phases in our building now. So we, an American Rotary phase converter was an important part of our story back in the New York days in the garage. That phase converter is what let us use our Whitney punch, which we used to build our rimfire steels. It let us use our bridge, uh, sorry, we had the bridge port here. Um, our Emco lathe. We had one other three phase thing. Can't remember what it was. Um, anyways. What's crazy is they don't care that I'm not using it today. They've remained a big part of our story. They were at our open house. They donated a 20 horsepower machine. They love American manufacturing, the revitalization, the ingenuity. Uh, they're based in Wisconsin. I've gotten to know Chris Feeble there, who's sort of the head of sales, David, the owner. Um, and they literally just said, we want to be part of your story formally. Uh, we want to help you keep doing what you're doing. So Chris, Dave, all the team at American Rotary, thank you like seriously thank you um they're going to be including a 10 percent discount code for any uh, american rotary phase converter link in the video description i think we're still getting that set up so if it's not there today we'll have it in there but um it, it puts a smile on my face because I, I love doing this stuff and i love when folks are are just they're happy to help support it so thank you again to american rotary and it goes without saying if you guys need a phase converter, um, at least talk to American Rotary. They, they, got, they know what they're talking about and they put out a very quality product. If I don't see you guys though, happy 4th of July, at least for our American viewers. Otherwise, see you next week.